Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a program called Storytelling Alice. And this program actually allows you to create your own uh, animated movie in a 3D environment. I already created a sample project, so let's see how it works. So here we have an ice skater doing different moves in her pra practice session. So she's moving backward, she's moving forward, and there are a few other moves she has, that she's doing. So here she's skating backwards. And there it is. So basically, I this is a sample project that I created. Now let's start, let's do this project all over again to see how this Storytelling Alice program works. So when you open your uh, Storytelling Alice, this is how the interface is going to look like. Now I'm going to create a new animated movie from the beginning. So I'm going to go to File, New World. And once you click on that, it's going to ask for uh, a template. So since we are creating a movie with, uh, with an ice skater in it, we are going to click on Snow. And this is how my background looks like. Now I'm going to add my ice skater. So I'm going to click on file and import. And I already saved my ice skater before. So I'm just going to add her to my scene. So there is my ice skater. But the problem with this image is that she's very far away. So I'm going to click on add objects and I'm going to move her closer towards me so that's that's a good position and if if you click on uh, turn objects left and right there are a few icons over here with which you can reposition your uh, character so if i click on that i can actually move her position so now i am done so on the left, this is your world window and this is this world window includes all the characters and objects uh, in your movie as well as the opening scene. On the left side are the different objects that you have included in your world window. So if I click, so I have the ice skater over here. Once I click on the ice skater, you can see at the bottom, you can see all the different methods that the ice skater can perform. And on the right, you have the editor section. And this is where you will tell your character what to do. So for example, I can drag this pin and drop it over here. And now if I click, click on play, you can see that my ice skater is spinning. So you can, there are a few other methods that she can do. So let's just add all of them and see the finished product. So I'm going to click on prepare to skate. I'm going to click on do simple spin. She will skate a little bit. She's going to skate backwards for a little bit. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to play it and you can see she's doing all the methods that you have asked her to do in the editor section. Just so she's spinning, she's doing a simple spin, she is uh, skating 4.25 steps, she's doing that uh, backwards as well. So let's just play that again. So that's a quick overview of how Storytelling Alice works. I usually teach this to my middle school students uh, because it has a very nice uh, 3D environment and it also teaches all the basic programming concepts like methods, arithmetic, strings, variables, parameters, conditionals, and many more. In my uh, other tutorials, I'll give you a more detailed explanation of how uh, each of these concepts uh, work in this environment. Thank you.